and when we transport stuff from one farm to the next, the equipment is, you know, it's large. A lot of times we're taking up both lanes. Adams County farmer Ryan Meyer says he's not trying to inconvenience other drivers on the road. You, you have some very polite people that, you know, will stay behind you, and you also have some drivers that definitely must have a place to be and, and we're in their way. Meyer says he's been fortunate to have not been in any collisions. We definitely have to be very defensive. Um, some people just don't realize, you know, that we are going slow, even though we have the slow moving signs, um, flashing lights. Um, when people are running, you know, 60, 65 mile an hour, they just don't realize how fast they close in on a piece of a farm equipment. But Adams County Sheriff Anthony Grotens says other farmers haven't been as lucky as Meyer. And some people can't get stopped in time, unfortunately, and they end up hitting the tractor, um, oftentimes injuring the tractor driver and oftentimes themselves. Groton says many of these machines don't have turn signals either. The tractor will turn and while the guy is trying to pass him and then they collide. It happens. Meyer says following at a safe distance means a safe reaction time and helps them see you. But sometimes when people get so close to the back of equipment, we can't see that you're there. So please give us a little space. To So Meyer says warm and dry conditions have been ideal for, for this harvest. Uh, he says at this rate, farmers should have most everything done by early November. Live in Adams County, Claire Edlund, WGEM News. All right, thank you, Claire. And Groton says consequences for collisions can range anything from a hefty fine to even vehicular manslaughter.